Joining us now is Alex Woodyear Sharon, President and CEO of Empress Royalty, and the Executive Chairman, David Rose. Good to see you both. Great to Thank see you. you. Thank you. So, Alex, we'll start with you. Uh, Empress has a portfolio of royalty and streaming assets, uh, 17 investments. Can you give us an overview? Yeah, absolutely. So, we have 17 investments, as you mentioned. We have one, uh, we've got three producing assets now. We have one in Peru that's been producing and bringing revenue in Empress for the last year. And then we also have uh, one in Mexico that's just getting into production. We've received the first silver credits from that. That's a silver stream. And then we have a gold royalty in Mozambique that's also just started to bring in some revenue. So we're building that up. We have a development stage assets and also 13 exploration portfolios. Cumulatively, um, it's bringing about uh, $5 million of revenue into Empress in the next 12 months. Um, and it should be about $29 million revenue to the end of 2025. Very good. Now, Endeavor Financial is the uh, investment manager, and that's a company of which you're the managing director, of which you used to be the uh, head of structured finance. Uh, Endeavor has uh, been involved with something like three quarters of a billion, you would know, uh, uh, and on streaming deals. So, so what, what's the, the main, what are the main advantages of that arrangement? I, I think the key advantage is obviously we're in the marketplace on a you know, monthly basis looking for financings for the junior mid-tier spaces. So we speak to all the streaming companies. We know what they're up to. We know what they're doing in the space. So we have that kind of advantage to feed that into obviously Empress and what Empress are doing. But the main advantage is that we look for opportunities. So you know, the big guys, the Wheatons, the Francos we deal with, they're looking at 100 million plus ticket size. But obviously Empress is set up and our strategies are smaller. So the sub 25 million. So any sub $25 million investment opportunities we can put to the Tempest team. Um, so that's a wide, broad market spectrum we look at, and we can give all those opportunities to Empress. Right. And Alex, you recently raised $2 million in a private placement. Rick Rule was involved with that, well-known name, of course, to Canadian investors and American investors in precious metals. Uh, he put in a million. Uh, so what are the details of that uh, deal? Yeah, so we met um, Rick in the last couple over the summer, and we got to know him, and he wanted to become a strategic investor in Empress. So we specifically did this $2 million financing to bring Rick in. He actually came in over a million dollars U.S. Uh, participation. When we started discussing with him the pricing of the deal, we were trading around 22 cents. Uh, we actually agreed on an above market pricing of 30 cents for that uh, financing. So we're very excited to have him and some of his associates as strategic investors in Empress. So Rick Rule obviously saw something. Uh, uh, what do you think investors should see in Empress Royalty? How is it different from its competitors? I think the, the key difference is you know, our strategy was creating. So we're not buying pieces of paper. We're not buying royalties um, and we're not buying assets that are long dated as in for a return for the company. So we're looking at creating streams in near producing to producing companies. So cash flow, cash flow is key. So you'll see you know, from our projections, you know, cash flow is the key driver for this business. And then with that cash flow, we can obviously reinvest it in new streams or which hopefully will be the planned subject. Obviously the board approving it will be a dividend stream. So become a yielding asset class, which is the key driver for us you know, to differentiate ourselves. And Alex, you talked about uh, having a, a robust portfolio and, and, and some, some opportunities. Uh, flesh that out for us. Yeah, so, you know, again, we launched a company with 13 exploration royalties. We've layered on these uh, now producing and development stage assets, and we want to continue to do so. We're, um, you know, focused on investments in Africa and South America, the investment size of 2 to 10 million. Um, and right now we're in data rooms on uh, three different opportunities, two of those should be near and to point of term sheets. So we go through quite a rigorous due diligence process, but we're looking to continue to build out the portfolio. And actually, just, yeah. sorry, just yeah. picking up on you, obviously uniqueness in Endeavor. So mining is a global business um, and we get involved in lots of interesting places around the world. Obviously mines, obviously where the mines are rather than the place we'd like them to be. Um, and we add, you know, our expertise in doing these types of exotic countries, as people would put it, where a lot of the competition look for just the nice places. Um, but because we've done deals there, we know the legal regime, we know the, the political regime, we know how to structure it right, we know how to put the exact package in place to mitigate a lot of those risks. We can bring those opportunities to Empress. So Mozambique being an example, um, there's not a lot of places, you know, you go Mozambique, you know, this is a modern day gold mine in Mozambique. Um, there is, you know, the largest investment in Africa going into Mozambique. 
So there's $15 billion of World Bank multinational financing in that country, which gives us the security and the comfort that there's a lot of dollars alongside ours. Right. And speaking of dollars, uh, over the next three years, you're expecting revenue of about 30 million U.S. And you say that you're coming into a rapid growth phase, which many royalty and streaming companies do at a certain stage in their in their life. So uh, what are some of the catalysts we can look for? So with the investments that I was mentioning before, the one in Peru, they're ramping up their production from 750 tons to 1,000 tons per day. That will bring more revenue into Empress. With the one in Mexico, the Talawetta Silver Project that we, or sorry, Silver Stream we invested in, that's just starting to get into production. They'll be at um, 500 ton ball mill um, commercial production towards the end of this year, beginning of next, and then bringing a second ball mill online. And then we have Manica, they're just getting into commercial production as well. They should be fully ramped up by the end of this year. So with that, we're really starting the momentum building of revenue coming into Empress. And lastly, let me ask you both. Um, you believe your shares are undervalued. And uh, I'm just wondering uh, what you think in terms of uh, the price to, price to net asset value and the other metrics. Uh, uh, what is it to, the investors aren't getting? What do they need to know? You know, I think a lot of us is creating market awareness and, you know, interviewing with yourself and being at presence at these conferences. We're a very young company. We're just getting out there. We had a very clear business strategy. We've proven that out. The revenue is starting to come into Empress and really getting out there and telling the story and explaining what our strategy is. Yeah, and I, I think it's very much the case, young company. So a lot of the other yeah. you know, competitors in the space, a lot of peer comparison, I should really call it, they've already got a track record. And they've already got income, they've achieved some of their goals. Um, we're just achieving them. So the market needs to see that, and they will see it, as they can see on our quarterlies yeah. with the revenue coming in. Therefore, that gives, should give them confidence that we can get those multiples. Um, similar multiples are 10 times you know, cash flow. Well, at the moment, we're hardly anything times cash flow. So that's really confidence. And that's, right. what, we, that's what the market will see over the next quarters as we you know, show them the cash coming in the, uh, the tin. Okay, well, thank you both, and good luck with everything, and we'll see you again. Absolutely, thank, thank you, you so okay, much. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, Alex Woodyear-Sharon and David Rhodes of Empress Royalty.